Hey guys, I'm Sir. So we have the kit for the new Super Baby 2. So let's see how he actually looks, although his animations are insane. So let's jump straight to it what he actually offers. Okay, he's gonna be a yellow character and obviously he's going to be having Saiyan, Transforming Warrior, Regeneration, GD Merging, Power Up and all the abilities and he's from the GD Saga at least. Okay, so I don't think so they have mentioned his uh, uh, like type i think he might be range type okay so uh what his main ability is going to be doing so as for the main ability randomly destroys one of your own cards and draws the ultimate revenge death ball okay i see if he does not land the lf he's going to be landing revenge death ball which looks pretty good okay nice uh Restores own health by 25% and key by 50 and minus 5 to arts cost for 30 time accounts would have been much better if there was like cannot be cancelled and reduces enemy dragon ball by 1 and I think I mean like see his main ability is pretty generic okay so okay let's see what he's providing with his Z ability over here powerful opponent regeneration base strike and blast defense is he gonna be a defense type um He's a yellow character and GT already got a blue defense type character so I think he might be a range type because uh, he will only then only he will fit in the team or I think he's maybe a melee type because over here as you can see his strike arts have a blast armor so it means he might be a melee type okay so nothing really special over here you can see uh, Something like okay. Let me see what it says. It says blast arts can uh, that will reduce your enemy's health restoration by 20%. Okay, and the strike comes with the blast armor. Okay, nice. And it also is going to be reducing your enemy's health restoration by 20%. Okay, a uh, special move uh, deals massive impact damage, which is pretty generic, and 50% special move damage inflicted for three damage accounts and obscure. Okay, wow, he's going to be obscuring your enemy's uh, hand, which uh, I think is pretty good as well to stall. And all the cards can be turned. Okay, to fame. that's the same effect which we have for the obscure. Okay, and it he also has unique gauge, huh? Restores own unique gauge to zero and applies the. Uh, uh, Sorry, resets actually and applies the following effects to self upon activation 20% special move damage effective for 3 time accounts and nullifies unf Okay, wow, his special move is gonna be hitting really hard and he also nullifies endurance on his blue card. Wow, okay, his blue card effect is actually looking really strong, but still it can be cancelled because it is a buff effect, but still it's really powerful in my opinion and okay his green card let's see what it green card actually does uh the follow effects occur upon activation restores own health by 15 and key by 50 20 percent damage inflicted for 15 time accounts and nullifies unfavorable factors wow okay he is going to type me for a lot huh that's something which is really good beneficial for him because like we have revival cell we have super 17 the meta right now who are really strong red characters and he can be a really good option to fight against them since he's going type neutral a lot of times over here for offensively and counter will be activated upon enemies melee tap actions or strike arts and fight and force okay okay it's a counter it's a counter and it can be countered using only yeah whenever your enemy is going to be using any tap melee action or any strike attack he's going to be countering them okay so the first animation with this showed was actually his green card counter so i guess it's fine it's not really that broken but if you will be able to land it it's going to be a game changer of course and yeah he gets endurance not, not endurance notification uh actually uh Common nullification on a screen card if you land it, and it is pretty much comboable with strike, blast, or special move and ultimates. Ultimate over here deals massive explode damage and applies the falling effects to self upon activation, restores own vanishing gauge by 100, which is pretty good, and 50% to own damage affected, ultimate damage affected, uh, which is nice, 20% to stay sustain damage cut, which is again nice, and nullifies enemy to show health, which is again cancelable, but it's fine because they don't really want to make it that broken, huh? Okay, and he has another effect whenever his unique gauge is full, and the thing is, he sets own unique gauge to zero and falling effects occur upon activation uh 70 percent to ultimate okay wow so his ultimate is going to be hitting like 120 percent in total huh and like he's going to be infected with no switching as well as the blast armor which is 
like generic for every LF, but still inflicting no switching for three time accounts. Uh, yeah, he might be hitting really hard. He might be a nuker as well. So, okay, he has extra damage against Saints, which is 30% extra damage, and he straightforward goes 100% damage inflicted, reduced damage speed by 70, restores, sorry, increasing card draw speed by 1 and 70% to key recovery, and minus 10 special move what's cost, which is looking good generic first ability the follow effects occur when this character enters the battlefield uh, randomly draws one new card which is really nice to combo and he have is he's having another 80 percent damage fitted over here and restores health by 15 and key 20 as well huh yeah he's going to be healing a lot and under destroys one of our enemy card and reduces enemy key by 20 which is find nothing really special applies the following effects to self sorry self yeah based on the number of defeated battle members okay so he's gonna be a last man standing as well huh nullify is unfavorable elemental factor for sustained damage okay he's going type neutral defensively whenever there's one battle member down when two battle members are down he's going to be type neutral uh offensively and defensively as well and will be increasing his card of speed by one level which is i would say is pretty okay um because these are only going to be lasting for 10 gram accounts and 15 time accounts applies some volume to self every time this character uses strike cards or blast cards 20 percent to damage for 15 time accounts 30 percent to critical rate up to 60 applies the fallen effects to self wow okay Okay, his entry is pretty strong, I would say. Um, he will hit pretty hard after landing at least two guards. Okay, yeah, he has a lot of utility over here as well. Let's see what his unique gaze is going to offer. He has a... Wait, knocks enemy back to the long range if cover change is performed against strike cards. Yeah, he has a strike cover change, which we saw in the trailer. And special move arts. Okay, the follow effects occur when cover changing. Uh, he's going to be getting a restore key and infected enemy with the attribute downgrade of plus sorry minus 10 to strike and arts power okay yeah that's good inflicts enemy with the attribute downgrade of minus 20 percent to yeah he's going to be debuffing them as well man man gt does have a lot of debuffers they have blue Gugit goku they have super 17 who debuffs whenever you land a ultimate or something like that and now he, even he debuffs so yeah he might be like having a really good synergy with kid goku super baby and super 17 uh, they might turn out to be a <clears throat> pretty good trio and okay so here it comes his unique gauge which is greatly charged his own unique gauge every time this character <clears throat> is hit with enemies okay so the thing is that greatly charges own unique gauge every time when hit with enemies arts while this character is on field this is something which i think which makes him less broken is because he has to take damage in order to get his unique gauge full but it is a unique gauge which resets every time but also he heals a lot so he needs to be i think he's a defense type character then uh, restores own health by 25 percent and key by 50 cancel own attribute downgrades whenever the unique gauge is full this is about that and increases old dragon ball by one and and then destroys enemy two cards reduces enemy key by 50 and yeah so um, i think like see his unique gauge I'm not impressed by that because if he was having a unique gauge similar to or uh, LF17, which like all the allies get hit and the unique gauge gets filled, so it's much much easier for a defensive unique gauge to be filled up because the main character does not really have to get hit for that. And yeah, but okay, his unique gauge kind of looks a little underwhelming to me. And restores own key by 30 and random redraws at most two got new cards or three fewer when this character is on the battlefield and enemy switches okay so 50 percent to uh war blast and strike cards inflict damage okay and yeah he's going to be applying some debuffs as well shortens allies substitution count by wife by five actually when the enemy uh yeah when there was an enemy using any ultimate awaken or <clears throat> rising rush or anything so hmm okay super baby 2 i think he's uh 
fine though we do have to see what he's going to be adding for gt or powerful opponents but one thing i am really not really happy about him is that uh first of all he's yellow second of all i think he's a defense type character so he's like he's going to be okay but still like in a meta like this where you have to get hit in order to get your abilities up is something i very despise because characters like super 17 and ultra gohan uh yeah dude they're doing a lot of damage in two or three cards and we do have to see what how he performs in on field so yeah let me know what you guys think uh this was the kit for the super bb2 let me know what you guys are gonna do are you gonna be summoning for him or are you gonna be skipping comment down below and yeah that's the information we have for now we are going to be getting the full animations tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow and then we will see the character in the game so yeah and thanks so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye